Southside Christian Sabres, Mike Sonneborn's team, the two-time reigning 1A champion, winners of 22 in a row, taking on Commerce, which made the drive up I-85 from Georgia. Luke Kluth with a nice stop, a team that had seven shutouts a year ago. Sabres were down seven late second quarter. Ja'Cory Martin, the senior starter, what a talent to Ethan Chandler, and that tied the game at 14 apiece just before the break. Kyler Zimmerman later, this punt return, really hard running. Probably needed one more block. He might have taken it to the house. It set up a drive that looked like the Sabres had taken the lead. They had a touchdown call back. The helmet goes flying. And in the end, the winning streak goes away. Commerce comes in and knocks them off 21 to 17. But they will be a factor, obviously, in 1A. Welcome back in with the Daniel Lions, winners of 24 straight when the night began. Back-to-back -back state titles. That's one of their alums, Will Young, who was part of a state championship team in the early 90s. Wearing the white at home with all kinds of new faces, but some holdovers as well. And the connection right there to Eli Merck on the TD. Later on, getting into the scoring action, Jalen Brown Wallace from Gabe Parks. And the Lions were starting to pull away. Back comes Greer. Caden Rowland connects with Chase Bird. Young Greer team, they could be a factor in their 4A region. But on this night, Daniel had too much for him, as they so often do for opponents. They won five straight in the series, 61 to 21. And Daniels won 25 in a row. A surprise team in the area a year ago was Riverside. Michael Lancaster, former longtime dormant assistant, the new head coach at Travelers Rest. They tried to take down Rob Sanders and the Warriors at the reservation. Sanders hard running to extend a drive. Just before the half, he finds Caden Crosby, his top target. Crosby in the end zone for the score. Riverside pulls away to the win. Had their first winning season since 2007 last year. They're off to a good start in 2022, 61 to 21. Greenwood against AC Flora. Chris Liner's team going against a Flora ball club that, of course, lost Dustin Curtis to Guy Dorman. And, well, the Eagles trying to get back in the game after trailing 24 to 7 at the half. Tajay Dennis, nifty run outside before he's taken down to Terrius Gary. Then going to do the honors and punch it on in for Greenwood, but the rally would stall. And Flora gets the win in Columbia over the Eagles as Greenwood's out of the gate at 0 1, falling against Flora by a 38 to 20 final. Eastside and Mann, a JL Mann team that showed improvement last year, getting four victories and trying to make it six straight wins in the series against Calvin Banks and the Eagles. Banks hard running right there. And later they call him again. He takes it left side. He had a great season a year ago. They're going to rely on him a lot. Seven nothing Eastside. Back come the Patriots. Now Cyrus Morrison, first play from scrimmage, finally wrestled down. Leads to an Ethan Anderson to Toby Cates connection. Toby Cates Jr., that is, his pops on the coaching staff, used to make plays just like that for the Chapman Panthers. Now his son's doing it for the Pats, and man's off to a great start. They roll on to the win and put up a big number in taking down East Side. Other action, Seneca and Wade Hampton. Generals trying to snap a 24-game skid, playing at home against the Bobcats. In the white uniforms, punching into the end zone, Camsley Campbell for the TD. Back come the Generals, pretty good offensively a year ago. Nigel Brewster, a guy going to have to do a lot for them. Running back, took the direct snap. Seneca back on offense, little dump off over the middle. Going to go for some good yards, hard yards that time by Cade Evanson. And when it's done, the Bobcats scoring a bunch and going into Greenville and getting a decisive win at Wade Hampton, 42 to 19. When we come back, we had a first in the area tonight out of the smoke comes a new team, the Fury of Fountain Inn. We'll show you how furious they were feeling in their first ever game as they took on West Oak. That and more is just ahead.